Let's start with the depth first search. The idea is once you pick a vertex to act as the root of your tree, you want to create as long a path as you possibly can by adding another edge until you can add no more edges without actually creating a cycle. At that point you start backtracking until you can add more edges. It's easiest to see as an example, so let's go ahead and work through a depth first search on the graph as labeled here. Let's start by picking a vertex to be the root of our tree. Uh, it's supposed to uh, random, who knows what that means. I'm going to start by picking the vertex K. So the vertex K is going to be our first vertex, and at this point we need to pick an edge that is adjacent to the last vertex, in this case K, that has not yet been added to our tree and that um, does not create a cycle. The edge between the last vertex and the new vertex does not create a cycle. At this point, we could, chat, we could add any incident edge to K, uh, which means we have a choice of A, B, G, L, or J, uh, I don't know, just to be perverse, I'm going to start by adding B. So we start for our second vertex, I'm going to add the edge KB and the vertex B. Now I need to add an edge from B, which means I could either add uh, the vertex A or the vertex C. I'm not supposed to know a priori what my graph looks like, so let's suppose I decided to add A. A will be the third vertex added, and now you can see at A, uh, when I want to move ahead, the only edge I haven't used is this edge here between A and K, but that creates a cycle. So I can't add that edge, I'm done with A, and I have to backtrack. So we backtrack to vertex 2, which is B, and we see that there are options to be added. So let's go ahead and add the next possible vertex I. I'm going to add the vertex C. So the edge BC gets added to our, our tree, and C becomes the fourth vertex added. Now you want to work from the vertex C. Uh, I'm going to go to G. So we will we'll add the, the edge CG to our tree and the vertex G gets labeled 5. Now you want to work off of G. There's lots of choices since G has a high degree. I'm going to add M as my sixth vertex. So we will add the edge GM. That means we can still keep going from M. Uh, this time let's go ahead and add ML as the, and the seventh vertex would be L. Now you have to work from L. Uh, we can add, we can't add K since it's already, it would create a cycle, but we can add J. So we'll add J as the eighth vertex and LJ as an edge to the tree. From J, I think you can see where we'll go. We will be forced to add I. That's the only edge that does not close a cycle. And from I, we would be forced to add H because that's the only edge that does not close a cycle. And from H, there are no edges that can be added uh, without closing a cycle. That means you, uh, because the edge, uh, excuse me, I'm having a hard time seeing what's here. Okay, so the edge um, HG would create a large cycle, so it cannot be added. That means H has been processed. We need to backtrack to I. Adding IM would create a cycle, so it cannot be added. We would backtrack to J. Uh, JK would add a cycle. We'd backtrack to L. LG would add a cycle. We backtrack to M. Everything's been taken care of. And now we're back to G. So at G, really the only possible edges we could add are GD. G, E, or G, F. So from here, let's say, let's add uh, G, E. Now E is our 11th vertex added, and we're going to work from there. 
uh, first, let's add ED. Now, D, any edge coming out of D will create a cycle, so that is not an allowable edge to add to our spanning tree, which means we have to go back uh, to E as a vertex, and off of E, we can now add F, and we have completed our spanning tree of this graph using a depth first search. Now there are many many possible uh, tree spanning trees uh, that it could result from a depth first search. This just happens to be one where I wanted to illustrate uh, this backtracking idea. You certainly could have as your depth first search tree uh, gotten lucky and ended up with the Hamilton path that starts out at K and simply traverses the whole graph by going A to B to C to D to E to F to G and then I don't know where it goes after that to H to I to J to L to M. That is also a perfectly fine depth first search. But since it said that we're picking where we go sort of randomly, I wanted to, to, to uh, uh, implement it in a random sense. So there you have a depth first search. Let's go ahead now and do a breadth first search. And uh, as previously, uh, we have the same graph, we have the same labeled vertices, but the difference with a between a depth first search and a breadth first search is this time um, once you pick a vertex you want to add all possible neighboring edges uh, of that vertex to your tree so you want to make the tree the degrees of the tree as large as possible though you can only add vertices and incident edges as long as they do not create a cycle in your in in your creation oh that sounded horrible oh well so um, let's do a breadth first search in this case I'm going to start at a different vertex let's start at the vertex H um, which I'm going to label as vertex 0 and because this is a breadth first search I have to add both of the neighbors of H namely uh, vertex I and vertex G uh, and I'm going to I need to know what order they're added so I have to give an order to the vertices and I'm going to give the vertices alphabetical order in this case so I add both edges and since G comes before I, I consider vertex G the first vertex and I the second vertex. So that means for the second step I go to the next vertex in this case which is vertex G and I add all of the neighbors of G that do not create a cycle. And in fact if you look at all of the neighbors and there are a lot of them uh, None of them create a cycle yet, so let's go ahead and add all of the neighbors in alphabetical order. So that is going to be uh, GB comes first, GC comes second, so it will get labeled four, GD comes third, so that will be fifth, GE will give us E as the sixth vertex, GF will give us F as the seventh vertex, and then K becomes the 8th vertex, L the ninth, and M the 10th. Okay. Now that we've processed the vertex labeled 1, we need to go to the vertex labeled 2, which is I, and add neighbors of I that don't create a cycle. Notice I can add J, but I cannot add this edge IM because I am would make a cycle here. So I'm really going to add one edge here, namely the edge IJ. Now that we've processed vertex, the second vertex we added, the 
we're going to go to the third one, which is B. And the good news here is there's only one more edge to add. Uh, I can only add the edge AB because the edge KB and the edge BC would create cycles. So we will add our final edge uh, AB or BA and label that uh, vertex with 12. We've now included all the vertices and we have a spanning tree of the original graph. It looks quite different from our depth first search.